Hello, hello everyone watching Purchase TV at home. I'm so glad and happy that you're watching Purchase TV. I'm your storyteller, narrator, teacher, Celestine, bringing to you our Bible story. Thank you so much and I'm glad that you're watching. Today's our story is so interesting, very interesting, and I hope you're going to watch till the end. Our story today is about Samson. Wow, Samson was a very strong man, very strong. So follow to the end and know more about Samson. After Israelites had so many leaders, they sinned against God and God was not happy. And God, because God wasn't happy, because they broke the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments that were given to Moses were supposed to govern them and to show them what is right and what is to be done. But they disobeyed God by breaking their commandments and God was not happy at all with them. And you know what God did? God punished them by handing them over to the hands of the Philistines. And they were being beaten, they were being mistreated, they were being captured as slaves, and they went through all sorts of sufferings because they had disobeyed God. So it is not good to disobey God. But then because God is merciful and so loving, after some time, God appointed these two couples and blessed them with a child and told them, your child will not be shaved because his strength was on his hair. So some son grew, was born. He grew up as a very handsome and a very strong man. He was very strong. He could fight thousands and thousands of people and he could win. And the Philistines were always worried and asked, where does his strength come from? Yeah. So they wanted to find out, how comes this man is so strong that he can fight a thousand people, a thousand soldiers, and finish all of them, and nobody can even attack him? So they kept on sitting down, having a lot of meetings, discussing about Samson, and wondering, where does his strength come from? So they kept on studying, watching him fight, trying everything, but they could not, they did not find out the secret about his strength. Remember, he was a chosen child of God and God had appointed them to deliver the Israelites from the hands of the Philistines. So it reached a point, Samson was now a big man. Then there is this beautiful lady she was a Philistine. Her name was Delilah. So Moses fell in love, but for her, she was not going to be married to Samson. She just wanted, she was being used by the Philistines to find out the source of the strength of Samson. Now Delilah pretended and got married to Samson and every day he could ask where does your strength come from what is the source of your strength and at first Samson could play a trick and tell him if you pierce my shadow it is the source of my strength and Delilah could go to the Philistines and tell them I've known the secret of his strength when he's fighting just throw a, a spear or an arrow on his shadow and all his strength will be gone. But whenever they tried that, it wasn't working. And Delilah came back and was not happy with Samson and asked him, why are you lying to me? What is the source of your strength? So Samson kept on telling her different stories because it was a secret. Delilah was not supposed to know or anybody else apart from Moses' family and the Israelites who knew the source of his strength. But one day, 
I don't know how it happened. Delilah tricked Samson and Samson told her the whole truth about his strength that if they shave his hair, his strength will be gone. He will not be strong enough. And as he drifted after eating his dinner, he went to bed. Delilah took a scissor and cut all his hair, shaved everything until Samson was bald. Then Delilah ran to the Philistines and told them, I've known the source of his strength. It is on his hair and I've shaved his hair. Now you people can come and believe me you. When they came, Samson could not fight anymore. He could not even defend himself. It was such a pity. They beat him. They did everything that they could and left him to die. That is how his wife, Delilah, deceived him. And he trusted her and told her the truth about his strength, which was so unfair. Now, Moses had to fight for his life, but because God loved him, God never let him die. So he stayed in pain, recovered slowly, and asked God for one more chance. And when his hair started growing again, there is a day the Philistines were somewhere in their temple, praying and praising their God. They were worshipping their God. They were not worshipping the mighty God. They had their own created sculpture as their God. So he said, God, give me the strength. He wanted to revenge. So as his hair started growing again, his strength started coming back. So when he discovered that these people were somewhere praising and doing all sorts of celebration with their God, he walked there slowly and slowly. And because now his hair had grown, he went to the pillars of the temple. And with a very loud cry he pushed the pillars and the whole temple went crumbling down and killed all the philistines who were in the temple there praising their bal god the sculptured the god that they had made themselves it was so unfortunate for them they died and that's how he uh, Samson revenged what they did to him, though he never survived for long. But we learn he was a very strong man and God had chosen him and set him aside to deliver the Israelites from the hands of Philistines who were trying to kill them, who are trying to make them slaves, capture them, kill them and do everything. So when we disobey God, God also punishes us. So it is not good. Israelites were punished because of disobeying God and breaking the commandments. Thank you so much. I'm happy that you watched the story of Samson. He was the strongest man and God used him to deliver the Israelites from the hands of the Philistines. So let us not break the Ten Commandments. We should always listen to our parents, listen to the teachings of Christ, and do what is right. If you break the commandments, God will punish you. But remember, God does not punish us and leave us there. He loves us so much. So despite the sin that the Israelites committed, he still chose Samson to come and deliver them because he loved them so much. So God loves you so much. Anytime you've done something wrong, Always remember to ask forgiveness. God will forgive you. Thank you so much for watching. This is Teacher Celestine bringing to you the Bible story together with Patches TV. Keep watching Patches TV for all inspiring stories and moral lessons to be learned. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate your support. I and my producer Pacific Ishimwe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, God bless you.